بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم آه هنكمل آه على بقية الفيديو اللي فات ازا جينرال واي ازاي بقى نستخدم آه بالطريقة العامة الايدلينج ريسورسز اول حاجة كرييت ان ايدلينج ريسورسز اور سب كلاس اوف وان از ا سنجل تون ان يور ابليكيشن كود تاني خطوة In your application code, not your test code. في الابليكيشن كل عادي. Add the logic to track whether the app is idle or not. امتى الاب idle وامتى لا. By changing the state of the idling resource to idle or not idle. بان انت تغير الحالة بتاعة ال idling resource امتى الابليكيشن idle وامتى مش idle. Call idling resource to get instant dot register before each test. قبل أي test to register the idling resource. By registering the idling resource, espresso will wait. أتفضل مستني until it is idle before moving to the next espresso statement. لحد ما تنتقل لل statement الجملة اللي بعدها. Call idling registry to get instant dot unregister. بعد كل uh, after each test بعد كل test to unregister the idling resource it is unusual to have testing code in your application to understand more about why and methods of removing idling resource code from your application production code check out here Add idling resource to your Gradle file. That would express your idling resource to the dependencies under the Gradle. We that would option that add the following option: return default value be true. Go to the test option dot unit test. We نحنا نزودين دا. I will start and that would return default values be true. The return default values is true. Is required to make loop to keep your unit test running. عشان يخلي ال test تاعك يرن as you add idling resource code to your application code. Create an idling resource singleton. You will add two idling resources. هذا هو الاثنين. واحد to deal with data binding. عشان يشتغل مع data binding synchronization لي ال views. We have to need to deal with the long-running operation in your repo. You will start the idling resource related to long-running repository operation. Go to the app Java main util. Go to the util. At create espresso holding holding espresso idling resource help. We had to add to the code that the increment and the decrement. This code, the code that will do it, creates a single ton idling resource. بستخدام Kotlin object keyword اسمه counting idling resource. You are using the counting idling resource class here. Allows you, بيسمح لك to increment, إنك ت to increment way to decrement the counter. زي when the counter is greater than zero, لو العدد أكبر من صفر, the app is considered working. The application يعتبر شغال. When the counter is zero, لو العدد صف, the app يعتبر idle, مش بيعمل حاجة. طيب, basically, whenever the app starts doing some work, أول لما the application يبتدي يعمل بعض الشغل, increment the counter, زود the counter ده. When that works finish, وأول أما الشغل ده يخلص, decrement the قلل the counter. Therefore, count counting idling resource will only have a count of zero. هيبقى بس عنده صف if there is no work being done لو ما فيش شغل this is a singleton so that you can access this idling resource anywhere هيبقى singleton فتقدر تأكسسه من أي مكان جوه الآب where a long running work might be done أول حاجة create wrap espresso idling resource في try way finally Where you can simplify this by creating an inline function called wrap espresso idling resource. In the espresso idling resource file, below the singleton you just created, the would include the lower wrap espresso idling.
Grab espresso idling resource starts by incrementing the count. Bibda be no izawid al counter. Run whatever code it's wrapped around, then decrement way al counter. Here is an example uh, of how you would use it. Step Step uh, use wrap espresso idling resource go a default task repository. Uh, next. Grab your long running operation with espresso idling resource. The majority of these are in your default task repo. Go to the application, if the data source, uh, and then the default task repo. Grab all the method that go to the default task repository. Go with grab espresso idling resource. Here is an example. We uh, are going to grab the get task method go ادي راب اسبريسو ايدلينج للميثود كلها اللي هي اسمها جيت تاسك حلو ده فول كود فور ديفولت تاسك ريبو الكود كله اللي جوه ديفولت تاسك ريبو ويز اول ذا ميثود راب كان بي فاوند هير اوكي رايت داتا بايندينج هنستخدم بقى الداتا بايندينج ايدلينج ريسورس يو هاف ريتن ان ايدلينج ريسورس سو ذات اسبريسو ويتس فور داتا مستنيه الداتا ان هي تحمل نيكست يو ويل كرييت ا كاستم Uh, idling resource a carry it customization class lay an idling resource lay a data binding you need to do this because we take time and action in espresso don't automatic automatically work with the data binding library which would start my data binding library this is because data binding uses a different mechanism starting a layer tanya muhtarifa The choreographer clause to synchronize its view updates. I should tell the Zemun Lee if you update the Hadith in you all. Help. Thus, Espresso can tell when a view updated where the data binding has finished updating. Because this, I should that. A data binding idling resource code is complicated. Ma'akad. The code is provided and explained. Add a data binding idling resource plus help. This a lot going on here, but the general idea, the fikra, the amma, that is that view data binding are generated whenever you are using. Be'amal generate the view binding. لما بتستخدم uh, layouts فيها data binding. The view data binding has binding bindings methods reports back whether the data binding library needs to update محتاج يحدث ال UI to reflect a change in data عشان يعكس uh, اختلاف في البيانات. This idling resource is considered idle only يعتبر idle في حالة If there is no bending bindings, ما فيش bindings bending help for any of view bindings data bindings. Finally, أخيراً the extension function لي data binding resource monitor fragment and data binding resource dot monitor activity take in fragment scenario and activity scenario respectively. They then find the underlying activity and associate it with Data binding idling resource. So you can track the layout state. Hand up that layout data. You must call one of these two methods. We put the data on one of the methods. D go to the tests. Data. Otherwise, غير كده data binding idling resource will not know anything about your layout. شترف أي حاجة عن the layout data. Use idling resource in tests. You have created two idling resource. And ensure that they are properly set as busy or idle. Espresso only waits for idling resource when they are registered. So now your test need to register and unregister your idling resources. You will do so in task activity test. If the task activity test, we will instantiate the data binding idling resource. We add before we will register. We add after Amel L on register.
Remember that Tazakar in both counting idling resource and data binding idling resource are monitoring your app too. Watching whether or not it is idle. يعني بيتفرجوا بيشوفوا هل هو idle ولا لا. By registering these resources. By registering these uh, resources into uh, in your tests. When either resource is busy, espresso. هتفضل مستنية. We'll wait until they are idle before moving. Uh, إلا لو هو مش idle. قبل ما يتحرك للnext command. What this mean is that ده معناه if your count idling resource has a count ليها عدد أكبر من صفر or if there are bending data binding layouts espresso will wait هتفضل مستنية اعمل update لي التاسك edit task test so that after you launch the activity بعد ما تلانش ال activity scenario you use monitor activity to associate the activity with the data binding idling resource ادي بعد ما فتح الاكتيفيتي نادى على داتا بايندينج ايدلينج ريسورس دوت مونيتور الاكتيفيتي اكتيفيتي سيناريو ران يور تيست 5 تايمز يو شود فايند ذات ذا تيست از نو لونجر فلاكي مش هتلاقي حتى لو رنيت التيست بتاعك اكتر او خمس مرات مش هتلاقي النتائج متعارضه ذا انتاير اكتيفيتي التاسك اكتيفيتي تيست الكود بتاعها كله المفروض يبقى بالشكل ده بعد كده write your own test with idling resource uh, اعمل function create one task واعمل لها delete finish the code referring to the edit task test you added previously اعمل run لي test to confirm ان هي اتعد المرة الجاية هناخد ال end to end app navigation testing